it's always better to learn from latest syllabus practice exam question rather than steal content because we know that day by day technology is evolving you just can't rely on steal content and expect to pass this exam if you missed question number 1 to 100 please check previous part of the series by clicking on the playlist button or playlist section of my channel first then navigating to aws cloud practitioner clf c02 so let's begin by marking the keyword and this video is in 4k resolution that is the highest ultra hd so because of 11 support i have upgraded my equipment to the highest quality now so let's look at option a a says s3 s3 is a storage service right and cannot tell about the service ability as required by the question so a is out let's move to option b b says ec2 ec2 is a compute service again and cannot tell anything about service ability or the operation as required by the question so b is out let's move to option c c says aws control tower aws control tower helps us to set up and govern a secure multi-account aws environment it does not provide information about service ability and operation hence again incorrect choice let's look at option d d says aws health dashboard since aws health dashboard can provide us the information about which of the aws service experience events such as maintenance or outage so this looks to be the potential answer or the correct answer we'll log this let's bring the heat to the snow we are at question number 102 let's look at option a first a says nat gateway in the question there is no mention of private subnet in the question so we don't need nat gateway let's move to option b b says amazon macy macy helps to protect sensitive data present in s3 since as per the question there is no mention of s3 so macy doesn't come into picture now b is out let's move to option c c says vpc flow logs vpc flow logs helps us to capture detailed information about the traffic going to and from network interfaces in our vpc this can be the potential answer we'll park this let's move to option d d says vpc endpoint vpc endpoint services can help to expose our own service to other vpcs using aws private link vpc endpoint again doesn't capture network information uh, tra traffic information as uh, required by the question so d is out let's look at the official documentation because i always verify my answers with official documentation and uh, while preparing always refer to the documentation about each section so that you can get a basic knowledge of the services and that is what is required for aws cloud practitioner exam in this vpc flow logs here it's written you can use vpc flow logs to capture detailed information about the traffic going to and from the network interfaces in your vpc that's what is required we'll lock option c as the correct answer all right this seems to be a piece of cake because by looking at the keyword you can arrive at the correct answer so whenever you see keywords like compliance report in the question then think about aws artifact and you should get your answer we'll keep option a and reject the rest let's look at the official documentation it's uh, written aws artifact and here compliance report so you got to remember uh, this is just the heading part and there's a more to it always read the entire documentation so that you can get a basic idea of what the services are and what they are meant for so we'll lock okay the question is about security this time because it's all about ec2 let's look at option a first aws is aws web application firewall also known as waf in the question if you look there is no mention of sql injection or cross-site scripting hence we don't need aws web application firewall a is out let's move to option b b says aws shield aws shield is used 
where there are scenarios of distributed denial of service also known as DDoS as per the question we don't need so we can eliminate this let's move to option D D says lambda lambda is no way a security service instead it's a compute service which belongs to the category of serverless the question needs a security service therefore D is out quick tip for the exam whenever the question is specifically about EC2 instance uh, and the question is about vulnerabilities then uh, think about inspector and you should get your answer let's verify in the official documentation it's written Amazon inspector automatically discovers workloads such as Amazon EC2 instances containers and lambda functions and scans them for software vulnerabilities and unintended network exposure so just note the keyword EC2 vulnerabilities vulnerabilities EC2 so inspector I hope you got the concept we'll lock option C as the correct answer all righty this is a kind of networking related question because we have host name IT IP address and MAC address option E says AWS database migration service also known as DMS as the name suggests database migration just uh, focus on this two words database migration right so this means we need to migrate a database so database migration service is used for migrating on-premises database to AWS as per the question there is no mention of migration of on-premise database instead we need information like host name IP address and MAC address of the on-premise infrastructure so this option we don't need because we don't need migration let's move to option B B says AWS data sync so data sync helps to transfer specially unstructured or semi structured data from on premises to Amazon S3 EFS or FSX the question is not looking for any kind of data transfer um, just like the migration uh, option we look uh, previously so we can eliminate data sync as well let's now move to option D D says key management service also known as KMS so key management service is associated with encryption we don't need any kind of encryption as the question we'll reject this we are left out with one option let's verify this in the official documentation application discovery service offers two ways to performing discovery and collecting data about your on-premise servers and here's a mention collector collects the following static configuration data server host names IP addresses MAC addresses we just note this keyword site this were there in the equation disk resource allocation database engine versions and database schemas so this you need to remember uh, what uh, application discovery ser service offers so uh, you can have a read at the entire documentation we will lock option C as the correct answer all right this seems to be easy question this time whenever you see keywords related to high ability then think about multi easy deployment or deploying a backup in different AWS region and you should get your answer in the question uh, in the option if you look it's mentioned multi easy deployment so this will fit the needs of high ability so we'll keep option A and uh, reject the rest and lock it as the correct answer this question will test your concepts on EC2 let's first look at option d d says dedicated host so dedicated host is most costly option among this we need the uh, like the cost effective option that is the cheaper option right so d is out don't just pass your id certification instead pass with flying colors with my keyword tricks included in the pdf exclusively for diamond members and above Become a member now by clicking the join button to unlock this book. Then connect and inbox me on LinkedIn at the rate of Cloud Guru Amit or Instagram at the rate of Amit Physique for the PDF access. Let's look at option C. C says on demand instance. On demand instances are used when the workload is not continuous. That is, when we need 
an EC2 instance on ad hoc basis. So that's not we require it. We there is a mention of continuous issues of two years as per the question. So C is out. Let's look at option E first. EC is spot instance. Spot instance is the most cost effective option, but the problem is that it cannot meet the requirement of the question that is running continuously for two years as mentioned here for scenarios like migration in the uh, question uh, this uh, spot instance uh, won't meet any kind of, won't meet the uh, uh, meet the requirement of the question because during migration scenarios we don't want any kind of interruption during the migration activity otherwise the entire progress will be lost and we need to start the migration process from the beginning which we definitely don't want right we don't want our hard work to go in um, like uh, losing our time right so uh, a is out we are left out with the reserve instance and it is the correct answer all right this looks to be easy whether we want to encrypt that data or not is solely customer's responsibility because it's the customer data after all right so whether we want to keep the data or delete it again customer is solely responsible hence we'll keep option a and uh, reject the rest if we look here in this diagram is a mention of customer data and uh, this tl uh, color goes for the customer and this uh, orange is the aws's responsibility so there's a clear mention that is it is customer data so customer should uh, take uh, care of it right so this is as per the uh, shared responsibility model so let's lock option a customer as the correct answer all right all right the question is interesting because it's with another aws account this time let's look at option b b says uh, cloudwatch CloudWatch is a monitoring service. It cannot help to identify what resources are shared with another AWS account required by the question. B is out. Let's move to option C. C says Inspector. Inspector is used for vulnerabilities, especially with uh, regard to EC2 instance, which we saw a few questions back. So there is no mention of EC2, EC2 so we don't need Inspector right c is out let's move to option d d c is aurora aurora is a database a database cannot help to find what's shared with different aws account so this is definitely out let's look at the official documentation it's written i am access analyzer helps you identify the resources in your organizations and accounts such as amazon s3 buckets or i am roles shared with an external entity entity that's what is required will lock option a as the correct answer okay if you are into business intelligence or data warehousing then you might be already knowing the answer let's look at option b first b says amazon rds rds is a database and therefore cannot generate dashboard b is out let's move to option c c says athena Athena is a querying service which can be used to directly query data present in S3. C is out. Let's move to option D. D says uh, Power BI. There is uh, no service as Amazon Power BI. There is Microsoft Power BI definitely. So B D is invalid option. We are left off with one option that is QuickSight. If we look here in the white paper. For uh, QuickSight, it's uh, there's a mention of business intelligence in QuickSight, and also uh, there's a mention of a single data dashboard. So dashboard was our key keyword as per the question. If you've done the hands-on, then you might be knowing that QuickSight can generate graphs like pie chart, line chart, you name it, any kind of um, graph we can generate. Uh, the data generated from S3 or Athena, or Redshift, we can directly uh, a view just like microsoft power bi um, um, amazon quicksight is the equivalent tool so 
will lock option a amazon quick site as the correct answer so please 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 don't go away let's meet in next part of the series and if you like the way i explain please hit a thumbs up button because i make free videos for you so and it also motivates me to bring out more videos like this